back to another beautiful day. Check it out. This place has the best cupcakes in the world. But uh, forget cupcakes. We need some caffeine. Other thing on our morning to do, we accidentally left our skateboard at the grocery store last night. It's uh, across the way there. So we're gonna grab some quick coffee and then hopefully go get our skateboard back. Internet, internet, check it out. We got our skateboard. Let's go, baby. Meet Leon at 8.45. Yep, let's go. Oh, all right, internet, it's 10.11. Uh, we made it to San Diego. Check out this sick barber shop, dude. Look at this art. This man's getting a sick haircut. Anyway, shout out all, I'm gonna put the name of where we're at up here. Matt, Matt Bla no, that's just the brand of the thing, I don't know. This, this place is so sick. All right, we're at 12.07, we're checking out what's gonna get turned into a three, four, lots more property units coming into here, but it's a big renovation process. So like, this is where we're at right now. All right, internet, we are here at uh, what used to be some very mean person living here. Why, 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 why are you renting to mean, terrible people? Hey, listen, I, I give everybody a shot. I believe in people, but sometimes it doesn't work out. And sometimes you gotta get rid of them and yeah. reset. If you remember the password. Oh. All right, let's check this place out. Lights. Ooh. It's technically in University City. Yeah. It's literally right next to La Jolla. Yeah, yeah. Check it out on the map because that one's a little bit more. This is Barclay. What's going on? Leon's my structural engineer, so uh, he's gonna he's gonna be looking at a few things here. Yeah. So this we're gonna we're gonna do this last. So bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Great laundry maybe for here. Okay. Full bathroom, current laundry slash kitchenette <laughs> area here. Living room, kitchen, entrance, bedroom, closet, and this is Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill for LP stuff. Front, middle, and this has a here. This is a two. So, let's look in the basement real quick. Plenty of height here. So we got lots of height. The only thing is they have these. That's okay. Can you see it? Oh, this is a nice. So this was becoming number four? Or four and five. Four and five, cool. Or, wow. Right now there's no windows out here. No, but there is there is windows, but they're not. I mean, we can put them in here. Like, there's room. Like, oh. where's that go? That's outside. So there's. We can make a window here, no problem. Oh, there's also a gas line here against Tonya, so if you guys wanted to add a stove behind this wall. Awesome, that's great. Thank you. Very good. I appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, um, yo, we just saw the house that we're at escrow on to close. And I think that's gonna be a juicy, juicy deal. Lots of opportunity there to make something happen. Then, the last time we came, we saw this house that was like, you know, I was telling James, one of the things you do is you look for like lawns and roofs and things that look distressed. And this house had all of it. It was like very bad shape on the same street. So we, we know the value of the road, know what the houses sell for, the square footage, because we've already done the research because we're in escrow on one. So we did a little walk around and we found one. Well, today we saw the owner of that property allegedly, and they gave us a lot of information and there's an opportunity to buy that house too. So we'll see how that'll shake out. I'm a little skeptical. Bank but, might own it. Yeah, the bank might actually already own it and they just might be living there. And then their their amount that they wanted for the house. If there's not, we'll let you know we're honest about that. So either way, we, we wish you the best in this situation. But we'll, we'll put our best foot forward. Yeah. So we saw that house too, had an exterior tour but from where i could peek inside it was really needed a lot of work maybe like a bulldozer <laughs> uh, and so now we're headed to downtown we're going to check out this unit for a rental arbitrage deal so we'll have the opportunity it's a two bedroom two bathroom on the eighth floor with a view of the bay the harbor from the balcony is phenomenal and there's great view from one of the master rooms so um, we can't do nightly rental, but we can do 30 day minimum. So that will allow us to rent to corporate executives and 
nomadic travelers, like modern travelers, and then also like traveling nurses. Here we are. We're gonna take photos, do a, uh, a walkthrough, there's like a, a damage report, and then schedule all the maintenance and cleaning that needs to happen. The day is just getting warmed up. This is City Front Terrace. This part of the building here, you can see this is the this is the old, this was historical. It was called the Soap Factory. It was built, I believe, in 1929. Okay. So it's a part of the historical uh, society of San Diego. The rest of the building is built into this facade. So I'm gonna show you inside. I love this place. Sorry, all right. Yeah, this, this is all I need to Oh, okay. I don't want to go bother my tent. This is one of my favorite parts. This is called the uh, Urban Garden. I believe they call this area out here. And I used to come out here, and this is where I'll write out my ideas, meditate, really clear, because I love the sound of waterfalls, you yeah. know what I mean? I just like write stuff out. Yeah. Great in the summer or the winter, it doesn't matter. It's San Diego. So a year round, I come out here and just like put my ideas out. And now I'm executing on those same ideas, which is kind of crazy. But I haven't lived here in many years, so it's nice to come back and get to see it. This is where I would chill right here. Grayson would hang out. His version of hanging out is like running around. Yeah. And then you can go out on walks right here. You can go all the way around downtown and come back over. So you can work here. There's a fire pit, the hot tub, lovely pool, the views. You have your boat at the marina. Short walk right up to the boat. The cool, there's two pools here. This first little pool area is kind of like a little lounging, soaking pool but you got full bathrooms, a little cabana over there to the bathroom. Across the street, directly across the street, Seaport Village. You go right over there, you're at the water. It's freaking awesome. I love this place. So we're gonna go in there. Here's some of the original photos of when it was a standalone. So I love when new can be old and they can get along together and make beautiful stuff. That's like my architectural stuff. Oh, let me hold that door for you. <laughs> Business center, gotta look a little professional, so. If you're a work from home kind of person, get her done. Only big deals though, only big deals. Nothing under, what do you say, a mill? Yeah, nothing under a mill can happen in this room. We go this way. This is a little, little teeny bitty part of the complex. You can hang out there, this is the music, whatever. This is called Martin Luther King Walk. And uh, this grassy area that I'm gonna show you to the end of the building. It's owned by the city frontiers, but we lease it to the city and we get special tax incentives for doing that. We maintain it and they give us the tax break. Okay, so you can walk right in here, walk the dog, go to Seaport Village, do all kind of cool things. So this is the citrus room. Big, big, cool TV, audio system. And what's really cool is there's a full kitchen, there's a bar serving area, so like walk the way. Full kitchen, full stove. So this is like the clubhouse. Now I'm about to blow James's mind. This is where James is going to check this out. Drum roll! <laughs> yeah, this is a gym. There's no gym in any other community that is like this. And that, my friend, concludes our tour. Rock. All right, so the last time we were here, things weren't ready at all. We've got about Two weeks till they're trying to launch this? The 30th. Soon. Probably that's two weeks. That's one, one week. week. Yeah, but as you can see, this deck is awesome. This table looks killer. What we did is we kind of like prepared everything. So we broke down the boxes, put the stuff in the general area it's gonna go in. So it has like a cohesive flow. And then we put together this little trusty thing here. Got some LED light inside. It's supposed to be next to the bed, I think. We'll that see. Table. That's it. I think we are done. We're about to go have some dinner down at Pacific Beach with Eliza Rubin. This looks great. This will be done. It's much better. This is going to be such a cool place. Man, imagine eating out here with yeah. your friends and hanging out. A little bit of music, some good drinks, and some good food. Place to be. Uh, I dig it. I would rate it. And you kill it. What we did is we put forked out most of the boxes, 90% of them. Put them there so they're flat and they can be recycled. Put together a piece of furniture there. Move the outdoor furniture from the entryway to this section. There's like a ton of boxes with like random trash and so you put that over there. I recommend the big bag construction bag for the trash. That way you can just throw it out. 
Because you know, trash people will actually take it. And then for the rest of these boxes, you would probably have to take it to like one of those recycling centers. And you can even make some money on it, I think. They'll pay you for like this much cardboard for sure. But it's gotta be free of any other debris. Other than that, I'm gonna lock up, make sure everything's secure. And we are outro. Ladies, what a pleasure. This is gonna be killer. I can't wait to see it come to us like full life. I mean, there's a few things that obviously have to happen before that happens. So right now I'm using my imagination. We out.